If you don't have a lot of time to cook but you want to eat good, stay tuned for this video. Okay, I decided randomly that we're going to do a what I eat in a day. Sorry, I have a cookie in my mouth. I'm really challenging myself because I have a main ingredient. We'll get into that later. But I need to go to the grocery store. So that is where we're headed. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. cooking it's breakfast time well my breakfast time we're about to make something so easy so yummy and i don't want to hear what you guys got to say we're making pesto fried egg on toast you heard me right the featured ingredient today is going to be pesto now if you are have a nut allergy you need to be looking at the ingredients because sometimes pesto is made with nuts i get classical brand or you can make your own but this is for like quick and easy meals under 30 minutes we don't have time all you're going to do is take a dollop of the pesto put it in the pan it's going to warm up and then you're going to fry your egg right on top of the pesto you're going to season it up i did a little salt and pepper and in the meantime you're going to be making an avocado spread i just did half of the avocado a little salt and pepper and some lemon juice once your egg is cooked, now it's time to assemble your toast. You're going to get your toast that you put it in the toaster. You can put a little butter. I opted not to. We're going to spread our avocado. And to this, I'm going to add a little chili onion crunch. Not that stuff from Trader Joe's. It doesn't have any taste. Go to the Asian grocery store, but be respectful because you're in their home, okay? And then you're going to put your egg right on top and cut it in half. I like my egg a little medium, but I overcooked it a little bit, but that's okay. And in the mornings, I gave up coffee, so of course we're gonna have a matcha. I'm gonna froth up some brown sugar creamer. We're gonna warm up some water so we can whisk that matcha. If you are into matcha, I will have this in my Amazon store front as well. I'm gonna be using almond milk because I don't have any oak. Add a little brown sugar syrup right to the cup. That will be linked as well. And form up my drink, and it is so good. And it saves me a little bit of money too. If you like savory type breakfasts and you crave savory type breakfasts, breakfasts, this is the one for you. I'm about to finish this up. Here's some more mouth noises. I hate them. And then we'll come back for lunch. If you're OG on my page, you know that you've seen this recipe before. And if you're new here, welcome to the best tuna recipe that's going to change your life. Let's get into it. But the ingredients that I have is a little bit of red pepper cut up, a little bit of red onion. I used some sweet and spicy jalapenos from Trader Joe's. I'm going to be adding in two seasoning, the salmon rub from Trader Joe's and a little bit of Old Bay. And then I will be adding some lime juice to the mix and a little bit of sriracha as well to give it that spicy because we want this to be a spicy tuna cotto. You guys are probably going to eat me up in the comments because I never write down like how much I actually put in things because like, I don't measure any things. But what I can tell you is this is going to be a single serving, like one wrap of the tuna cotto. So go with your gut, okay? Okay, you can use any type of bread or you can use like a tortilla or something like that. But I get lavash bread from Trader Joe's. It's really good. It's going to mimic the Joe and the Juice where I got the idea from. And you're going to assemble your wrap. You're going to put one side a little bit of pesto and then you're going to put the tuna on the other side you're gonna put your avocado your sliced tomato i use the beef steak tomato because it just holds up well with the sandwich salt and pepper it up and then you're going to pan fry because you want everything to get warmed up you want that pesto to get warmed up because it's just gonna activate the flavors i've made this on my channel before but I guess it's more in depth. This is my tuna 
avocado. So good. It hits every time. What I like about this is that you can make the tuna in a big batch or you can make one serving like we did today. But you can make it in a big batch and it's good on sandwiches, wraps, by itself with crackers. Like, it's really good. Tuna is like a high protein type thing. So good. And you probably already have majority of these ingredients in your house. So, and it's something about the basil. I got the idea from Joe and the Juice if you're on the West Coast. Or in certain cities, you know about Joe and the Juice. And they use a basil oil. I don't have basil oil, but I do got pesto. And it hits just the same. And it just adds something to the sandwich. I don't know. I'm going to finish this up. Probably read a chapter in my book. I'm going to come back for dinner. It's dinner time. We're going to be using, once again, pesto. We're going to make a pasta. And I'm going to add chicken. My chicken is clean. I have these little tenderloins. Do what your heart can tend. I don't want to argue. So my chicken is clean. I just want to season. This is the Jack Stack Barbecue All-Purpose Seasoning. I love this stuff. It's labeled steak seasoning because I really use it for steaks. Liberally season these. Season the other side. If you're a single person and you're thinking for yourself, you need to be having an air fry. And if you don't have an air fryer, I will have my link because I absolutely love it. You can do so much with it. But you're going to put that chicken into the air fryer and I'm going to roast it. You can air fry it if you want to. But roasting just makes it a little bit juicy. Okay, key fact, if you are going to be boiling water, put hot water in your pan. It just makes it boil faster. Anyways, we're going to be making some pasta. I'm going to be using the Barilla Protein Pasta. This is for the girlies that want to get some extra protein, and it's really good. Trust me. To this pesto pasta, we're going to also be adding tomato. Normally, I would just do like a fire roasted tomato, grilled tomato, or whatever, but I'm going to be using Roman tomatoes. They were 29 cents at Trader Joe's, and I couldn't pass it up. After your pasta is cooked al dente, you're going to add it to the pan with the tomatoes, and then you're going to add your pesto in there as well. You're going to do enough to coat everything on there and to loosen it up. If it's dried out, I'm going to also add a little bit of balsamic vinegar to that pan just to help it all. Now, I like to cook a lot of this because I will take this to work with me. So I cook one batch for dinner and then I also have some leftovers. But you can just cater it and tweak it to one meal if that's what you want to do. Once the chicken is roasted, I'm going to take out a couple of those pieces, cut it up, and put it right on top. And then I'm going to serve it up with some balsamic glaze right on top. And it's just going to add some more flavor. This is a high flavor meal, even though it has simple ingredients. This is one of my favorite easy meals to make. Literally, protein, pasta, tomato. Sometimes I use grape or cherry. I used aroma tomato. They were on sale. Pesto. Roasted some chicken. A little bit of balsamic reduction. Very simple meal. Very big flavors. You should give it a try. If you made it this far in the video, I love you so much. Thank you so much. A lot of people have been asking me to make more cooking videos, so I'm trying to give you guys what you want. If you make any of these recipes, come back and let me know how you enjoyed it. If you liked it, if you did anything different, I'm always open to improvements. Um, consider subscribing to the channel. We're growing. I would love to have you guys join the gang gang. And if you had a little bit of time, go ahead and watch this next video or enjoy the blooper reels of my content because it's always so funny that we have to switch cameras just to get the shots. But you already know what it is. I love you guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.